We say hello now to G City. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Good energy. Yeah. Good that, energy. International Fight Week. International Fight Week. Uh, how about Valerie? I mean, just pouring it all out there for all us. Time. Very emotional. Uh, was it? Was I, I was told there wasn't a dry eye in the uh, control room. Yeah, Frank was bawling. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean it was great. Money in the bank, the briefcase. Well, how about that? Loaded with goodies. Loaded with goodies. I know you like, uh, you know, like some merch, some some. Yeah. Is it swag or swag? Uh, swag. Swag. <laughs> I mean, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> is it swag or swag? I don't know. Um, all right, are we hyped or what? Two seventy six. Yeah. yeah. I am Vegas. Uh, they finally lifted the ban and you're allowed to go. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like people um, don't quite understand the joke every time we talk about the ban. I don't. Does it matter or no? The joke. Well, the joke is that, you know, a very successful comedian once said that I was banned from the state of Las Vegas. I think they think that you, you're talking about the UFC, but it's just from the entire state of Las Vegas, right? Yeah. Yeah, state of Which Las obviously Vegas. Obviously, UFC happens there all the time. Yeah, it's going to be great. You going out? Do you change your mind? No, nah. no interest. I have heavy interest. Uh, have you thought about it? Wallet can't deal with it. No, never can't deal with it. Considered it. Not even, even for the big meetup. Look at the no, no, absolutely not. I on the other hand, it. oh, Frank's going. I have also decided I'm definitely not going. Oh, oh, all right. Frank's not even coming over on Saturday night for the fights. Really. Yeah. 276? Why yeah. not? I'm working. Man. Classic, Classic excuse. Uh, what, what are you working on Saturday night? I am engineering a show. Okay. At a venue in Brooklyn. Wow. I think he's DJing. I think that's what he's doing. Uh, are, you D are you a DJ? Yes. What's your DJ name? Frank? He he seems nervous to respond. Is it that, I mean, is it that secretive? Nah, no, it's fine. I don't know. People might show up. People might mob him. If All he right, gives fine, out his DJ right. name, they can find out where he performs. All right, 276. Let's get hype. Let's go. We need the picks. I'm told you're actually uh, laying some lumber on every single fight on the card. Every single fight on the card. So Jeez, just please. strap in. I'm going to keep this uh, as short as possible as I go from fight to fight. But, uh... It's like the Super Bowl. Like when the Super Bowl happens, I have like 19 bets in play. Uh, you know, having fun is the uh, main objective. Who win money? That's that's an extra little sprinkle on top. Mm -hmm. All right. What do uh, we got? What do we got? All right. Let's kick it off. I mean, let's get right into it. Uh, first up. Well, first up, graphics went to a whole. Whoa, level whoa, just, whoa! Jeez, Louise. Just in honor of uh, just in honor of International Fight Week. I'm okay. Just, so this isn't going to be a common occurrence. I don't know. I, th I think it might be. It, it didn't take as much efforting as I thought. We got the flags. Every uh, fighter's uh, nation Repres represented. Yeah. Uh, even Stoylerenko's uh, Lithuania. And uh, we got a nice gold trim. So uh, going to give myself the old I Barry I don't H. Know if I, I don't know if I see a gold trim. Where's the gold trim? The words oh. are in gold. Okay. Well, that's not a trim. That's a font. Uh, gold foil is what I should have said. Okay. Fair enough. It's very nice. Uh, yeah, but as you can see... You're going um, with JRC. I'm going with JRC. Our 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 boy New York Rick. Uh, he is convinced that the darling of the MMA hour, Jessica Rose Clark, who's gonna obviously be walking out to Shawn Michaels' sexy boy this weekend, yeah, uh, is not gonna win. He that's that's what he said, and he actually has gone so far. He has a bet on Stoliarenko, but I tried to convince him otherwise. He was not hearing it. Stoliarenko, 0 and 4 in the UFC. She has been outstruck in every single one of her fights. Uh, she loves going for sub attempts, but she's one in nine on takedowns. Uh, Twelve percent accuracy there. Queen of the arm bars. I know. Last time, I know you're gonna say it. You're gonna say, "Dude, Jessica Rose Clark got arm barred last time out by Stephanie Egger." She went through that. She had to go through that pain of getting arm barred. Now she's not gonna get arm barred again. Oh, I was very impressed with her demeanor on Monday. Uh, sorry if you heard me moving around. I was just putting on my money. Yeah, we all heard it. Yeah, I, yeah. I was putting on my money in the bank slides. No, yeah. I was putting on the slides. At the oh, time. really? Yeah, you're really? comfortable here. Um, and, of course, classic New York Rick move. I mean, everyone's excited. Everyone's pulling for JRC, and he has to go the other direction. I mean, so confident in her that he he placed a wager on Stoliarenko. What is Stoliarenko? 
plus 140, I think. Okay. I, I think she's going to only become a larger dog as, as the week goes on. You think so? I mean, I took all the Jessica hype Rose Clark on like Monday morning at minus 128, and she's like minus 150 now. Oh, wow. Yeah, right, I, mean, I like it. I think people are in on JRC. All right, let's keep it rolling. Andre Muniz. I mean, mm-hmm. you saw it. You saw it on Monday in the International Fight Week draft. He was my first pick. I am a huge Andre Muniz fan. If this hits the the mat, which I think is going to, Sean Strickland took Uriah Hall down four times. Uh, I think Andre Muniz is going to be able to do the same. Once it hit the mat, just watch the man work. Third degree BJJ black belt. Very skilled offensively with it. 15 of his 22 wins are by submission. I think he gets a number one here. 6-0 in the UFC. Uh, let's move him on to 7-0. and I like it. Next up, DDP. Trikis Duplis. Well, not bad. Uh, Close enough. Not bad. I, I was a little bit nervous as I was going that. By the way, I didn't, I, I'm shocked that I didn't think of that. Think of what? DDP. That's what I said. I first heard that from Jed Mishu, No Bets Bard. Shout out to him. He yeah. said DDP, and I was like, wow, this is my first time hearing DDP. I love it. It's sticking just as much as JRC is. Oh, my God. DDP is, and you know who DDP is, right? Mm. Mm. But you don't get the reference? Mm-mm, no. Diamond Dallas Page? Uh, nah, I just Bang? thought it was a cool nickname. Oh, my God. No, he's one of the all-time no, pro wrestlers. I was going to say, I'm guessing this is a pro wrestler. You're just yes. coming off your wrestling interview. Yeah. You're oh, one-upping DDP, man. DDP is dumb. a great name, but it's Dricus Duplessis. We spoke about this. Duplessis. Duplessis, yeah. I was studying French on, on the train in this morning. I'm not even kidding. I, I You nailed it. In the pre-show. Yeah, yeah, I know. I get a little bit nervous, you know, in front of everybody, though. Um, I mean, fantastic fight. Uh, originally, it was, like, number two on the card. Now it's number four. Somewhere around there. Fantastic fight. Cannot wait for this one. Uh, everyone's talking about DDP's only path to victory being, like, KOing Tavares. Uh, but I actually think he's a little bit underrated as a grappler. We saw him do it a little bit against Tre- Trevin Giles. Got two takedowns there. I don't think he's afraid to go to the mat. He actually has more submission wins than he does have knockouts. Um, and I just think... I, I believe in the skill set of uh, DDP, and I think he gets it done against an aging Brad Tavares, uh, either by knocking him out, landing a big shot, or he does go to the ground and he sinks in a choke or maybe a guillotine on Brad Tavares, which is why I'm not only taking DDP, I'm taking the fight does not go to decision at minus 105. Is t- I know Tavares goes to a lot of decisions. He doesn't have, like, fantastic finishing power, but you're giving me a guy who is now the favorite in this fight at essentially even odds for it to knock out the distance, and he has 18 fights, win or lose. He has never seen the scorecards. All 18 finished inside the distance. It's just out of principle. It's just like Shavkat last week. They gave it to me at minus 155. He had never seen the scorecards. I just have to bet it in a situation like that. I just, It's just a principle of mine. Obviously, you know that I agree with this one. He was one of my picks. I love it, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to fight. I'm excited to see him fight, man. By the way, uh, I saw a lot of people saying that I had horrible picks. I mean, this is crazy. We're going to find out this weekend. Mm. That's, that's the only way. Well, it, was I mean, a lot, it was a lot of pandering, you know, on the, on your page over there. It's like everyone's <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you killed it. I'm like, what are you talking Listen, about? Listen, I think if you had posted the graphic of the draft, there would have been pandering to you. You think so? I think so, yeah. All right. I think it's just because of whose page it came from. All right. Ian Gary. The future. Future A of the card, you know, we got Future B as well and Macy Barber, two futures on the card, future of men's MMA and women's MMA uh, with their nicknames. Yeah, I'm going with Ian Gary. I've played him in his two previous fights. I'll continue to play him here. Uh, the guy gets a lot of hate, I, I feel like. he. I feel like people talk down on him, you know. He's not going to be who he thinks he's going to be. I feel like he's a little bit more savvy of a fighter than people give him credit for. Um, I think he is a more technical striker than Gabe Green is in his last fight out. Uh, I felt like he just, as he went on against Darian Weeks, he just got better and better as he was downloading information. I feel like uh, he does have a decent fight IQ. And in this one, big cage. They're not in the apex, unfortunately. But the bigger cage, I think it's going to benefit Ian Gary, how much movement he uses. I think he's going to be able to keep it at range and uh, win a 29-28 close decision over Gabe Green. I like it. I mean, you know I picked him as well. So it seems like you're... What, what is it called in the business? Trailing a lot of my picks? Tailing a lot of tailing your picks. <laughs> yes, I'm tailing a lot of your picks. Thank you, appreciate uh, it. Let's keep it moving, though. Fight for the most wins in UFC history. Miller Cerrone, two legends going at it. I'm not going to pick a side in this one. I'm going to go with the under two and a half here. I mean, it's just two aging guys. Cerrone kind of seems like he's shot. 
finisher be finished type guy. Miller, eight of his last 11 fights, have not seen past the two-minute mark in the second round. Uh, Cerrone, his last 20 fights, 14 of those have not made it over two and a half, eight of them ending in the first round. I would not be shocked at all if Jim Miller goes out there and finishes Cowboy Cerrone in the first round. Um, I just really can't trust a guy who's 0-6-1 in his last seven fights. Um, I just do think someone gets finished here. The only reason I'm not on Jim Miller is it because it is at welterweight, and I think that benefits Cerrone much more uh, than it does Miller. All right. Next up, Jalen Turner, the tarantula. Um, you mentioned on Monday, yes, I'm going with CBK here. I think that's probably the only time this month I will wow. go against CBK, though. I mean, both dudes are super skilled. Brad Riddell, obviously a world-class striker. I mean, he is fantastic. Uh, like, I felt like he was just skyrocketing before that Fazeev fight. Great fight, unfortunately. He got he got finished in that one. Just the way Turner has been fighting lately, his last four fights, two or four finishes, two by sub, two by knockout. He's only 27. He's just getting better, and you just can't ignore the size disparity here. Jalen Turner does not have the body of a natural lightweight. He has a 8-inch height advantage, 6-inch reach advantage in this fight like it's it's almost going to look like these guys should be in different weight classes um he has all the capabilities to keep this at range potentially knock brad riddell out brad riddell he might try to make this dirty get in close go for a takedown he does have a takedown in every single one of his ufc fights but i think even taking it to the ground is dangerous because jalen turner slick down there he has capabilities to get guys out of there on the ground and i think that's what he's going to do either by knockout or by submission i think jalen turner uh is likely going to win this one uh by finish Wow, that would be a big one. All right. We like Jalen around here. Great guy. He's been on the program. Great guy. Affable. I have not met him, but he is a great well, guy. Well, you met him sort of, you know. Via Zoom. Yeah. Via Zoom, yeah. Uh, next up, Sean O'Malley. Uh, this fight, it's pretty much going to exclusively play out on the feet. I can't imagine if anyone's going to go for a takedown, I think it's going to be Munoz, but he hasn't uh, done that. He hasn't landed a takedown in his last eight fights. O'Malley. Wow. Obviously, isn't a guy to really go for takedowns. Hasn't landed one in his last seven. So in a fight on the feet, am I going to trust one of the better prospects in terms of boxing uh, we've seen in a while with a five-inch height advantage, seven-inch reach advantage, and a uh, plus 4.74 strikes landed per minute ratio, and his last five wins by have been by KO or TKO, or do I trust a fighter with all the disadvantages in that, has a negative strikes landed per minute uh, ratio, and has no finishes since 2009. 19, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go with the Sugar Show. 16 or no, here we come. Yeah, a lot of people excited about it. Now, you know, I also get a little bit offended when they say it's his toughest test. It's very disrespectful to our to, friend uh, Chita Vera. Yeah, right. I agree. I agree. Maybe we didn't know that Cheetah would be as good, but, like, come on. Yeah, I think... Uh... I think Cheeto Vera is definitely the tougher test. I, I also do think it's funny every Sean O'Malley fight week, people talk about him potentially getting like his legs snapped because he's so skinny and obviously the uh Do people talk about that? I uh, yeah. I guess because he had the I've seen a few people, yeah, you can't trust his legs, things like that. Uh anyway, let's keep it rolling. Robbie Lawler. Uh this one Wow. Normal fight card. I probably wouldn't be betting this one, but it's international fight week. We are forced to have a bet on uh every single fight. That's on this the rule, card. right? It's the rule. If you don't abide by it, I mean, you're just you're not yeah. in the international fight week spirit. If we're being totally honest, Lawler, I know he's getting up there in age. The fiasco with uh, Nate Diaz last time out. I I do know that he he dropped a round of that, uh, according to a couple of the judges in that fight. Uh, I just felt like that was a very weird fight. It almost felt like Lawler was kind of being cautious with everything that was going on. And before before that, I mean, he he lost his last four. Although the Ben Askren fight. Uh, he looked pretty phenomenal before, uh, you know, the tap out there. But he got taken down in 17, 17 times in those four fights. Brian Barberena ain't taking this thing to the ground. I think it's just going to be a hectic back-and-forth striking affair. The crowd going nuts. Uh, you know, a legend in Robbie Lawler, a guy who's been around a long time in Brian Barberena just going at it. I think it's going to be a close decision. At the time when I took it, Robbie Lawler was the dog. I want to have that in a fight that I think is going to be close like this. Uh, and, I mean... Skill-wise speaking, I think Robbie Lawler is the much better fighter, but obviously uh, he is much older, so I think that makes it a more even fight, and I think it's going to be very close, but I'm going to hope that uh, Robbie Lawler gets it done for me here. No love to the uh, the lunchbox guy. Yep, no Our love brain. to the lunchbox guy. Yeah, no, bam, bam, lunchbox, you got it up there. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, next up, we are also in agreement on this one. 
Alex Bejeda. I will take him uh, money line. Another fight that I may not bet if it's on a normal card just because of the unknowns going into it. If you're betting Sean Strickland, you're probably assuming that he's going to go for takedowns. If you're betting Alex Bejeda, uh, you're assuming he can either avoid those or land a power shot on Sean Strickland. I'm just going to make the assumption that I think, uh, you know, the glory double champ is going to be able to land something here, uh, maybe wobble him or avoid the takedowns uh, to at least try to get a decision if he can't get him out there. I mean, he's obviously the better striker here, definitively more power, speed, height, reach. Probably the only thing Strickland has going for him is the volume uh, and the pace that he is able to put on him. But Pereira in that third round against uh, Bruno Silva, I thought he was impressive. I mean, he clearly pulled away from the fight in that round. That could be speaking to Silva's uh, gas tank, but uh, I trust him in the third round. I'm going to trust him in this fight, not overconfidently in it. But like we said, we're having a bet on every uh, yeah. single fight on this card. So we will be rolling with Alex Bejeda. Perfect world. He knocks out Strong Strickland. Adesanya knocks out Cannonier. We get that crazy title fight. Adesanya, Bejeda 3. Oh, man. I want to see Bejeda versus uh, Adesanya. That would be fantastic, especially to see in a UFC octagon. All right, let's get into the co-main and okay, the main okay. event. We're getting kind of wacky here All right. in the co-main. I'm going with Alex Volkanovsky. I'm biased. We know this, the trilogy. I'm going to continue to get, to ride with the guy that already has two in the bank. Uh, I think you said something similar on Monday. I think he's just continuing to make improvements uh, in his game. He just impresses me every single time he comes out, where Holloway is probably bringing in a very similar skill set that he had in the last fight. Not saying that's a skill set that isn't unbelievable. I mean, look at his last two fights. He's landed like 800 significant strikes over the last two fights. I mean, he's unbelievable. Uh, but I just think Volkanovski, he is continuing to level up. He's already beaten him twice. Um, and I think he gets it done here for a third time. I think it's going to be another close decision, um, which is why. Too juicy not to. New York Rick showed me this line. I had to take it. Max Holloway by split decision right now on DraftKings at plus 1,100. Uh yeah, I just felt like in a razor thin fight, we've seen uh, the judges, you know, these very close fights. We've we've seen a lot of split decisions lately. Would not be surprised if this one goes to a split decision. I feel like if Holloway's going to win, it's going to be by decision. Yeah, that's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. I hope that it's just decisive. Obviously, I do too. I, I really I, do like, too. Or, or you know what? I sh- maybe I should say definitive, right? Like I don't. I just don't want us on Monday to be talking about. This guy robbed this, that, like, just a clear-cut winner. I hope there's a finish. I hope someone Oh, that would be the best. That, that would, would be, be the best. just like... That would be the best. And also, if it's... Here's the thing. I feel like people aren't talking about... Like, if Holloway wins, are they going to do a fourth one? Like, wouldn't... Uh, yeah, I think you would have who to, Who just right? opened up a Steve Weiser back there? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Steve Weiser. I'm going to have to use What's that. happening over there? Uh, um... Is it vacation time? I mean, July 4th coming up. If he wins, if Holloway wins, do they run it back a fourth time? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. That's crazy. That's absolutely. You think they wouldn't? No. Giving him a th- you don't think they would. They're giving him a third one off of two losses. They wouldn't give Volkanovski another match after. Oh, no, no, no. I, I actually think they are. It's just a crazy thought. No, yeah. I mean... Especially if someone wins by finish. If Volk wins by finish, it's done. Trilogy over. He puts the stamp on it. He moves on. Closes the door for Max Holloway. Max Holloway wins by finish. It's time to go for a fourth one, without a doubt. Man. I think even by decision, yeah. I think if Holloway wins, there's a fourth one. If Volkanovski wins, shut and close case. Yeah. By the way, what do you think of the Josh Emmett stuff? The fight? Like... I, I, you think he gets the the winner if, if Volkanovski oh, wins? Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what they're gonna do next. But uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I feel like no. I feel like the fight is Emmett versus Allen. That would be a fight. nine versus five. That would, that would be, be at the end of the year. Fight. Yeah, whoever wins gets the right. shot. Yeah. I mean, who knows where we're gonna go here? I mean, yeah. Holloway could win. Who knows? All right. I gotta just say, I'm so excited for this fight because this, oh to me, God. like represents the best of MMA. And also, to Holloway's point earlier this week, regardless, like I, I don't know where MMA fighting has him. I could look it up right now, but he's got to be in the top ten. Holloway, obviously, I I have Volk as number three. I think you can make a case at number two. I think you can even make a case if you want at number one. Usman been champion a little bit longer. Point is, he's a top three. Um, you know, he's a top three pound for pound fighter. I don't think anyone has him below three, correct? And then you have Holloway, who's a top ten. It's very rare to have two top ten guys fighting for a belt in their division, and they're worthy of it. It's not like someone's getting it, 
you know, by some weird way. It's not like so, you know, like yeah. this is this is special stuff. Oh, this is incredibly very special, stuff. special. I mean, the the ten rounds that we've seen so far are so, you know, very close that we're having a third one despite one guy winning the first two. According to the UFC official rankings, Holloway is sixth, Volkanovski is two. That's where they rank them pound for pound. I mean, you said it. This is one of those fights that, like, I'm going to be on pins and needles. I'm going to be pacing around, like, breathing heavy, like, all excited, shaking my hands out Big. and stuff. I mean, yeah, I'm going to be hyped up when this when this thing is getting ready to start. It's it's going to be sick. I cannot wait. By the way, did you see the clip they posted yesterday of them saying hi to each other outside? No, I, I actually didn't. They they I think they were outside the uh, the HQ Performance Institute, and they it's just like, oh, God, it's freaking great. I love yeah, it. Yeah, dude, I... Uh, Wednesdays are usually the night I, I, I watch the countdown. I get all yeah. caught up on Embedded tonight. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I'm going to see all that stuff. What about uh, what about the fact that Max never says his name? I'm sticking by this one. The fact that you said that, this is what I said. The fact that you said that, you were like, nah, you never yeah. say his name. And then he was just like, nah. Uh, vo- vo- his, <laughs> no, he didn't even say that. He was like, nah, I say his name. He's like, I refer to people as him and her, you know. Uh, yeah. Have you like, noticed? I haven't noticed until you said that, but like the fact that he wasn't just like, what do you mean I don't say his name? Alexander Volkanovsky, there you go. Like, yeah, I feel like he like, yeah, it's just like sticking with him. He doesn't want to say his name. I don't know what that's all about. I don't mean, I don't either. Yeah. I don't either. All right, here's the recap of the singles. I've got 12 singles in play. Uh, this is easily the most units I'm going to have wagered. So uh, hopefully it's a winning week. Hopefully it's not just an awful week and we just continue this run. Hopefully it's a winning week. Either way, we're going to have fun doing it. There's singles number two, and then very quickly, very briefly, uh, three parlays with you here. First one, Macy Barber. I think Wait, you didn't give us a main event one. Well, my main event is in parlays. Oh, you're not going straight up? I can't really. I mean, Adesanya, Adesanya is minus 400, and then like I, so I took an alt line on him by KO decision at minus 260, uh, which is like the best best I could get, unless I was going to decisively decide if he was going to win by finisher or by decision. Um, so, yeah, I put him into parlays. I have him in two parlays. This one, Macy Barber, I think she she finds success against Jessica. I get to win. Adesanya by KO decision. I just think he is levels above Jerry Cannonier. I feel like he's been watching him for a while. I think Cannonier's only path to victory is, you know, that one perfect shot KO power and what does Adesanya do very well? Avoid the power. Um, he's not going to go for takedowns. He has two takedowns in 13 UFC fights. I, I just, I, I think Adesanya is, is going to win this fight on Saturday. He has no submissions, and Jared Cannonier has never been submitted, so I was happy to take the price cut uh, using the by KO or decision prop. All right. Uh, super chalk parlay. Uh, chalk donkey, proud of it. Uh, Volk Holloway over one and a half. Adesanya Cannonier over one and a half. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw finishes in either, but I do think they go a little bit later. So I'm happy to take this, minus 193. Yep, juiced up. Uh, still happy to take it, though. And then third one, this is actually a uh, a parlay we decided on No Bets Barred with the help from Rick and Jed Mishu. Uh, it was our three most confident picks. Rick's most confident pick, Macy Barber. Mine, Andre Muniz. And then uh, Jed's and Israel Adesanya. And right now on DraftKings, that pays out at plus 141. So, uh Adesanya, Muniz, and, and Barbara will definitely be my heaviest exposures this weekend, so I'll be cheering pretty hard for them. I love it. Uh, and then got to shout out the MMA Hour, DraftKings League. We are doing one league this week. Okay. Brought to you by DraftKings. 300 people. They upped the ante for us. We got to prove ourselves. I'm about to tweet the link as we speak. Just tweeted it. The link has been tweeted. Uh, go join it. 300 people. One league to rule them all. Whoever wins gets the shout out. Top 75 people get paid out. Uh, Shout out to DraftKings for giving us 300 people. Hopefully we don't let them down and uh, only like 62 join. So uh, I'm going to start pushing the league pretty heavy on the back end of this week. I look forward to it. And uh, maybe I'll meet a lot of these people at our meetup on uh, Friday at the Aria Sportsbook. Shout out to them. The Aerial Sportsbook is what they should nickname. Yeah, the Aerial. I didn't even think of that. Man, you're good. That's why they picked it. Now I get it. That's why they picked it. Uh, one quick thing for your approval. Yes. Uh, I just looked up the cheapest trophies on uh, Amazon for our contest. We can get this bad boy. Free engraving, too. Wow. That's not bad. A little under $10. What else? That's it. Oh, there's just one I thought I was getting a few options. A little ABC. <laughs> no. Okay. Is that I, like a, it. Is that I mean, what is that? Question. 
it's a fish, but there's no real like fighting ones or like big big. Yeah, no, I like that. I think it's perfect. The fish is perfect. It's the ear of the fish. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is perfect. Yes, it is the ear of the fish. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then it's set. No, set. how do you think? What? What? Why would it be the ear of the fish? You think I know these things? You think I just I made know that these up. Things? No, I just made it up. Actually, it is the ear of the fish. It is not the ear of the fish. Is that true? Yes. Why would I lie? You're such a liar. I, actually, I know why you would lie. What about these hundred dollar bills that I have here? I've been paid off. By the way, clip this off. I've been paid off by WWE. Paid off. Read it and weep. I'm happy I wasn't on camera there because yeah, I was going to say can you, yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Is that it? That's it, man. That's. Uh, I mean, it's a lot. That's all we've got to bet on every single. When's play. the new pod out? No bets barred. Uh, it should be out this evening. I, I say definitively our best episode yet. New York Rick joined us, helped us along the way. Ninety minutes. We go through every fight. We have some fun. Uh, well, he'll be very happy that you're paying him a compliment. He's been very sensitive as of late, so I think it's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thinks everyone's ganging up on him. So perhaps we'll hear. I don't know if he's showing up. Uh, he was supposed to be here today because of the big press conference, Tommy Fury and Jake Paul. I wonder if anyone's going to ask me about that because I have some thoughts. I would imagine they're going to. You think so? I don't know. People like to pretend like they don't care. Why didn't Ooh. JP uh, come in studio? I saw him running around on yeah. Pier 17 or something. We might have made the, you know, basically what I was told. Can I tell you what I was told? Yeah. But I would Straight up? Please, please do. I'm too good at my job. That's what I was told. I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I said, too many que you're gonna ask too many questions right now. Oh, that's what they said. And you, and I said, you so know what? An instigator, you pry too much. As unhappy as I am, I respect the honesty. You know, leading up to this uh, this Volk fight, no uh, Adelaide Crows on the desk anymore. Well, we put it off to the side because we knew, you know, the in studio guest was coming, so we had to clear things out. These are Joe's orders. Um,